OpenAI made a big splash in the AI world by releasing Dolly 3 to the public. I tested it out to see what all the hype was about. And to be honest, I think Dolly 3 is overrated. And I'll cover why, just like its predecessor, Dolly 2, it won't be overtaking state-of-the-art image generators like Midjourney anytime soon. Now to access Dolly 3, you need to log in to bin.com slash create with a free Microsoft account. Then inside the prompt box, we can enter a prompt like a photo of Kevin Hart with The Rock and click create to generate our images. Dolly will generate four images at a time. Click on any one of them to zoom in. First, let's talk about the strong points of Dolly 3 and why it's gotten so much hype. It's amazing at natural language understanding that's objectively superior to Midjourney. These photos clearly match what we asked for in the prompt. It preserves the identity of both Kevin Hart and The Rock. Try the same thing in Midjourney and we get a fusion of the two actors that looks like neither of them individually. Now there's ways to get around this with the pan and in-painting features in Midjourney, but Dolly 3 comes out on top here. Here's another comparison prompting for Batman fighting Spider-Man. Dolly 3 does a pretty good job of generating what we'd expect, but Midjourney gets confused and generates an image of Spider-Man fighting what appears to be some fusion of Batman, the Green Goblin, and Venom. Another reason for the hype of Dolly 3 is the ability to generate text and images. Let's ask for Pikachu holding a sign with a text saying, Don't pet me. And the text looks pretty accurate in the generated images, although it did take a couple of rerolls. It can also do graphic designs like this graffiti style logo with the words never back down. Images with longer text messages can also be made, although upon closer inspection, it appears that it has a hard time getting all the letters correct for longer phrases. It also only works for English. I tried to generate a photo of a man wearing a t-shirt saying Jem Paris, which means I love Paris in French. And it just doesn't work. Dali has no idea what I'm talking about. Compare that to Ideogram, which is a free alternative image generator, and the images are generated in French with no problem. Let's talk about features. In the current version of Dali 3, you can prompt for images by entering a prompt. And that's it. That's the only feature. I would say that it's still in beta, so hopefully a variety of features will be added in the future. But Dolly 2 wasn't exactly feature rich either. You can't change the aspect ratio like in Midjourney, so you can only generate square images. Here's an image I generated asking for full body shot, photo of a woman in New York, natural lighting 35mm. As far as I can tell, it has a hard time generating the full body in these photographs. That's typical of other image generators, but in Midjourney, you can use the pan feature to extend the bottom of the image and generate the full body just like you want. In Dolly 3, this is impossible. Now when it comes to photography, it does a pretty good job in terms of understanding things. Here I did a comparison of camera angles with Midjourney. Centered view, low angle view, high angle view, fisheye lens, all checked out. Prompted for photo of a woman, lawn exposure, fisheye lens, lights, city, Kodak portrait 800. The Dolly 3 image more or less captures the essence of the things we asked for in the prompt like fisheye lens and lawn exposure. The Midjourney equivalent has much better aesthetics but falls short in terms of interpreting the prompt. Speaking of aesthetics, I think Midjourney is far ahead. This can be kind of subjective, so let's look at some different styles. Here's a painting of a garden in the style of Monet. And here's an image of a tiger done with paper quilling. Not that much to note so far, just some slight differences between AIs, but here's where it gets interesting. I asked for the style of a lesser known artist called Kazuki Takamatsu. Here's some of his actual work. Midjourney is able to capture the essence of his style, but Dolly 3 seemingly has no idea who I'm asking for. Perhaps Dolly can in fact generate the style I want, but won't do it because of copyright issues. Or maybe it just isn't trained with as comprehensive of a dataset as Midjourney. Here's a comparison of a landscape in the style of Studio Ghibli. Once again, Midjourney is a lot closer to the actual art style. Now when I heard Dolly 3 would be integrated with ChatGPT, I got very excited at the possibility of leveraging a massive language model with an image generator. One possibility I was especially interested in was generating consistent characters. I imagined uploading an image of a character into the language model Analyzing that image and then generating pictures of that character in different settings. I use BinChat to get a preview of the DALL-E 3 and ChatGPT integration. Go to bin.com slash chat and you can talk with Bing's chatbot powered by ChatGPT and ask for it to generate images using DALL-E 3. I tried to upload some images of faces with the hope that the chatbot would be able to analyze a face and map it into other images. 
But unfortunately, due to privacy concerns, the chatbot blurs out old faces, even ones that are clearly fictional. Generating consistent characters in Midjourney is difficult, so I was hoping Dolly 3 combined with GPT would be able to solve this problem. But it looks like that won't be the case for the time being. One huge issue I found when testing Dolly 3 is that there's no way to actually look at my old images. If you look on the sidebar in the Create tab, your recent images are there, but there's no way to actually access or search for the entirety of your previously generated images. Maybe this is due to storage concerns, but it's a huge inconvenience, especially if you're serious about generating a lot of images. So hopefully they'll fix this at some point. I'm a big fan of OpenAI's research, but Dolly 3 seems overhyped to me. The improvements on natural language are huge, but I think Midjourney version 6 will probably be almost as good in terms of understanding language and much better everywhere else. If you want to stay up to date with the latest Midjourney updates, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you posted.